What's crack like and all the land? That's my name's Leon, and this is going to be the second episode of how to use Photoshop. And today I'm going to show you how to use patterns and textures. I'm going to apply them to the layers that you are currently on. So anyway, this is what we're going to be making today. We're going to make a nice, a nice gauze metallic thingy, you know. We're going to make some scratches, and we're going to make some diagonal lines, as well as on the background, we're going to make a nice diagonal line. So anyway, you can apply this to whatever you're doing. But anyway, let's get started. So go to File, go to New. That's so annoying! Sorry, this toolbar is making me angry. Anyway, we want to select 1920 by 1080 pixels if you want like an HD background. If you want standard paper, all you have to do is put it at 8 and eight width and 11 height with inches and that stuff. Yeah, you can figure that out. But anyway, I'm going to use HD, so on 1920 by 1080 p as in pixels. Go to the right, go to background, double click the layer and press enter or press OK on the thingy if you want. Uh, but you want to, one second, if you want to, ooh, that's bad. Anyway, you're going to have two colors. You choose two colors that you want the background to be. I'm just going to, you don't have to do this. It's not really a project. I'm just showing you how to do stuff. But I uh, just choose the two colors that go nicely with each other. Those kind of look the same, so I'm going to make this a little bit darker. Okay, here we go. So go up to your paint bucket tool, hold it in, go to gradient, go up here. It's going to be like this, but you want this selected because we're going to make a nice gradient. Make sure your layer is selected, otherwise it will make beep noise, beeping noises and not work. So anyway, you want to drag it out and have a nice little inner layer. I'm not spending too much time in the background because we did that last episode. But anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make the diagonal lines on it. And there are several ways to do this, but I like these nice diagonal lines that I'm going to put. So you want to, I'll give you the download link for this. And where is it? It's, I'll give you the download link so you can download the white lines that I have. So you're going to start out with this and you're going to just line it up, you know, oh, oh, okay. And this is not really hard at all. Just make it sure you rasterize it to avoid any problems. Uh, you go to opacity and bring it down to really low. Say, I, I normally put it around to make it look nice, maybe three, possibly. I don't know. But anyway, that looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, my friend's coming. Hi, friends. <laughs> anyway, that's our first part. So, let's see. Okay, so now go down, make a new layer. We're going to actually, uh, okay. So now, if you want to get your standard colors, just press D, and it goes back to black and white. Select your pen tool, and just click right here, hold shift. So, it, actually, you might want to zoom out. So, control, minus, minus. You have your first point selected. If you want a straight line, hold shift, then click. But if you want to make, we're going to make it a curve line. So do not let go of shift. Do not let go of the click button. So click it in and then drag it. So it makes this nice look. Why does that work? I do not understand. This is not healthy. Okay, anyway, we have something like that. So then zoom back in control plus plus. All right. So now we going to go up to the paint brush tool. We want to go to hardness 100%. And we might want to bring it down to say 9. I don't know. Nine is fine. Nine is fine. Nine is fine. Make sure you have your your uh, pen tool selected. You want to right click on the page. You want to go stroke path, and you want to have brush. You want to have similar pressure. Okay. I'm doing going this fast because I already did this before. You want to. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you in the last episode. You want to go to right click and delete path. So you delete that ugly path. So anyway, now you want to go to your gradient tool and just hover over it and go to paint bucket tool. Make sure you have your black selected, and then go like that. Just double click it because otherwise it won't fill in all the way. So now we have this. Now choose a nice color of gray. I'm going to choose, let's see, I'm going to choose, choose this, choose this. It's very nice, it's very nice. Now you just want to double, go, you have your layer. You want to double click on your layer and bring up the blending options. You want to go to, uh, I'm, I just always add a nice little inner shadow. So, you know, inner shadow. You can always do it like that, make it nice, and then increase or decrease the opacity. I always make the stroke and I make it one. That may always makes it look nice. And then I just kind of play with the opacity, whatever. You want to go to drop shadow. You want to add a nice drop shadow. It doesn't matter your choice. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. All right. So that's what we have right now. If you want to add like a metallic feature. Oh, I should probably double click in. You want to go to pattern overlay. You want, And I will provide the download link for this pattern in the description. So just click on that. You want to click on this one. And you don't have this unless you download it already. And you just want to play with the opacity. And you can also play with how big the things are going to be. So if you want them huge, you can make them huge. I like them about that size, and I don't like it too big. I, and that's this is the opacity I want. So then we're done with this layer. So okay, that's how you make a standard pattern. 
So then I'm just going to copy and paste because I don't feel like doing the whole pen tool thing again. So control J and then you copy the layer. You want to have this under here so it overlaps the layer. You kind of want to move it down and most of you probably aren't going to use this specific style. I'm just using it to show you. But I'm just going to move that down. I'm going to move this up so we actually have it under it. So anyway, now we're going to make, not this, now we're going to make an actual texture on top of this. So what you want to do is you want to import a texture. I'll provide you with a folder of a couple textures. I'm just going to use this texture for right now. You want to enter, of course, because that's when you have the X's. You want to make sure it's in Photoshop. You want to spread it out over the thing. You want, well, make it more realistic. So let's make it like that. Okay? Don't worry. It looks ugly. I know. Whatever. So then make sure it's on top of the layer you just created, that layer. Now right-click it. Go to Create Clipping Mask, and there you have it. Just play with the opacity until you get it nice and realistic or or fake or whatever you want. So that's the basically the uh, pattern, not pattern. That's a pattern. That's a texture. Our final layer, we want to make a copy. So Control J, and we're going to bring it all the way down to the bottom, not below the white lines because that's what's on the bottom. So you want to go over here, and you want to go on top, and then we have a nice little lip. <laughs> okay. We will not. This is a copy of this old layer, so we just want to remove this pattern. Actually, we need a pattern. So let's go to. I will provide you with pattern links, obviously. You can select any diagonal lines and just, you know, play with the opacity here. And that's. And see, as you can see, I have nice, nice little lines. And let's compare it to the first. That looks about the same. I just did a little bit more editing on this. I just made the inner shadow a little bit more opaque. See, right here, it looks a little darker. And then right here as well, I did the inner shadow. I added more opacity and made it darker. And then of course, no, not the Y lines. Right here, I made it more opaque. There. And now it looks all nice and metallic-y. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I don't know if it was helpful for you, but if it helps you somewhat, please leave a like. And remember, join the pride and subscribe. And goodbye, my friends. What we're going to make today, what we're going to make today is the are the are the glowing lines that you see right here. This is Lilith from Borderlands 2, just so you know, if you care at all. But anyway, we can see we have the lines right here. Boom! It looks like it's going around her. I think it's a pretty cool effect. It's a pretty basic effect, too, pretty easy. Everybody can do it, and you can add colors to it if you want. But I like it like this. But anyway, let's get started.